hey folks, it's your old pal, King Waspinator. Welcome back to Total Party Skills. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about the classic horror tabletop collection. The classic means that it's a classic style of horror tabletop game. Primarily focused around Ghosts of the Shadow Zone, it collects the main rulebook and multiple source books together into one volume. The print version also includes the rulebook for Dracula's Carpathian Christmas, which makes a handy addendum to the Ghosts of the Shadow Zone setting. Set in the early 1970s, Ghosts of the Shadow Zone evokes the feel of many classic horror films, from The Omen to The Exorcist to a variety of exploitative satanic-themed occult movies of that era. The primary rulebook details ghosts as player characters or NPCs and the strange dimension or shadow zone that they inhabit, parallel to the world of the living. It also details three conspiracy groups of ancient occultists hiding amongst mortal society and attempting to pull the strings of civilization for their own ends. These groups being the Lesbian Illuminati, the Global Voodoo Syndicate, and Jackal, a corporate front for a conspiracy of elitist Satanists commanded by Anubis himself. If played as a game about ghost player characters, it lends itself easily to survival horror themes with a heavy dash of existential crisis. And the main rulebook introduces the reader to the setting through the lens of ghost player characters to help get across the deeper supernatural underpinnings of the setting. However, they should not be viewed as the primary protagonists of a Ghost of the Shadow Zone game by any extent. It is every bit as much a game for modern-day occultist characters from the aforementioned conspiracies. The Lesbian Illuminati is a order of witches that call themselves the Belt of Hippolyte, having embedded themselves in educational institutions since the burning times and the witch trials of the Inquisition. They were given the nickname of Lesbian Illuminati by jealous outsiders but in recent years have come to embrace the term and have embraced the cause of civil rights and LGBT acceptance. The Global Voodoo Syndicate is a front operation to help disguise the activities of the Nubian Brotherhood, a secretive order of vampire hunters disguised as a black power movement, disguised as a criminal organization, disguised as an occult religious practice. Jackal is the public face of the head of the Jackal, the elite circle of a satanic occultists that serve Anubis himself. They are concerned with the accumulation of power and wealth and are strongly opposed by both the Lesbian Illuminati and the Global Voodoo Syndicate on different fronts. The source book Secrets of the Lesbian Illuminati goes into further details about, well, the Lesbian Illuminati, detailing their inner hierarchies, subcultures, their involvement with educational institutions, and includes a murder mystery starter adventure for a player group comprised entirely of college lesbians. Meanwhile, The Young and the Restless Dead details a secret war for the heart of Hollywood between an old Spanish cabal of vampires under the control of Zorro and an ancient mummy witch masquerading as a powerful and influential Hollywood starlet. It also introduces a Bruce Lee-inspired martial arts organization known as the Wirefighters Union, who have stumbled into the middle of this ongoing struggle between Western supernatural powers. The faction aligned around the mummy, in particular having made alliance with the head of the jackal, to turn powerful and corrupt politicians and businessmen into eternally young mummies by binding their spirits into the bodies of young actors and actresses, who will then mysteriously see a sudden shift in their career trajectory following the procedure. The displaced spirits of these victims whose bodies were given to these businessmen, have in turn created an outbreak of zombies in Hollywood, providing myriad points of contact for player characters to become involved in the plots of this city. The magic system in Ghosts of the Shadow Zones and other Total Party System games is designed to encourage players to concoct and devise spells of their own. However, for the convenience of game masters, the ancient Egyptian spellbook is included in the classic horror tabletop collection. This provides full explanations of the workings of divine and occult magic, as well as a large sampling of common spells known to these various skill groups. It also expands slightly on the cosmology of the overall setting. However, to truly understand the cosmological underpinnings of the total party system universe of games, Science of the Sphinx has been included. Through the history of this strange alien race, one will learn the truth 
truth about many of the features found in the modern-day shadow zone and how they originated. It also allows for reincarnated half-sphinx as player characters, which give you your classic fallen angel trying to get home player character concepts. And if you did get the print copy, you'll have access to Dracula's Carpathian Christmas, a holiday-themed horror game where player characters are Christmas elves, sent by Santa Claus to grant Dracula's Christmas wish so the good little boys and girls of the Carpathian Mountains can have a happy holiday. Written as an odd prequel to Bram Stoker's Dracula, Dracula's Carpathian Christmas provides additional lore and background for vampire player characters and NPCs, as well as werewolves and a variety of strange monster archetypes that could be dropped into any modern-day Ghosts of the Shadow Zone campaign as you so wish, and vice versa. Materials found throughout any of the Ghosts of the Shadow Zone source books or rulebook can be adapted for your Dracula's Carpathian Christmas, helping you get your players the gift they've always wanted a highly memorable role-playing game experience. Dracula's Carpathian Christmas can be played as a one-shot for a Christmas special adventure session, but within its pages are multiple holiday-themed adventures set around the entire calendar year, as Santa's little helpers will have roughly 11 months to solve the riddle of what Dracula's Christmas wish could possibly be. These adventures could potentially be used to solve that riddle or provide ample distraction and ensure that your player characters explore the entire map before they come to its thrilling conclusion. So check it out now. You can get the PDF cheaper on DriveThruRPG, or you can get the big and juicy print copy on Amazon.com with the Dracula's Carpathian Christmas rulebook included as a bonus for you. So that's about it. Check out links below, and until next time, stay waspinated.